Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Pinky. Today I'm going to discuss about actinic keratosis. Actinic keratosis is a condition where one has like pink, brown, red patches in the skin. It is mainly caused by due to long periods of exposure to sun and it, it mainly occurs in the sun exposed areas such as arms, face, scalp. Actinic keratosis can be divided into three grades. Grade one where you can feel the actinic keratosis and it, there will be slight color change and it might feel a bit crusty. In grade 2, it is moderately thick and visible and in grade 3, the skin is very, very thickened. How can you avoid actinic keratosis? So, avoid sun exposure, wear long-sleeved clothes, hat, use sunscreen, lotions and avoid any kind of tanning beds. So, when do we refer a patient with actinic keratosis? We will refer a patient if the size is more than one centimeter in diameter, if there is any abnormal change, if it is increasing rapidly in size, if it's bleeding, if there is inflammation, or if the patient is immunocompromised, such as kidney transplant patient. We also need to refer the patient to a dermatologist if the actinic keratosis is progressing despite using the treatment and if we're not sure actually what's going on or if there is any features of cancer or if the patient is immunocompromised again like high risk patients or if the actinic keratosis is not healing properly so for grade one actinic keratosis any kind of emollients creams and sunblocks are the first option and for grade 2 and 3, the most important thing I need to warn patients about that when they are going to use the treatment, they can have inflammation. So I will suggest treat one body area at a time, not to use around the eyes, wash hands carefully after use and avoid any kind of sun exposure. So what are the options of treatment we have? The options of treatment will be diclofenac 3% gel. That's for mild grade 1 lesions. Then we got fluorouracil cream for thin lesions. Fluorouracil with salicylic acids for moderately thick actinic keratosis. Then imiquimod, that is for the very, very severe cases. There was another medicine to treat actinic keratosis, which was Ingenol Mebutate Gel, brand name Picato. It has been recently banned from the market because there were concerns that it increased the risk of skin cancer. If it's certain that it is actinic keratosis, then cryotherapy can be used. Cryotherapy is a process in which freeze, freezing temperatures are used to freeze that particular area to reduce blood flow. In that case, what happens is that inflammation and swelling goes down and the pain is eased. However, cryotherapy does come with side effects like blistering of the skin, it can cause pain, redness, and so on. When none of the treatment works, then photodynamic therapy can be used in which a uh, light is applied and after using a photosensitizing cream to get rid of the actinic keratosis. So summarizing, so the first line should be emollients and sunblocks. For mild lesions, diclofenac 3% gel can be used. For thin lesions, fluorouracil can be used. For confluent lesions, it's amiquimod. And then there is cryotherapy and there, there is photodynamic therapy. It needs to be, you know, uh, make sure that the patient knows about the side effects. Like counsel patients carefully about inflammatory side effects, about topical treatments.
refer we need to refer the patients if treatments are not working to diagnose if it is something else not actinic keratosis thanks for watching please do like and subscribe my channel and do stay safe